this is a JDeveloper with a Tomcat uh, extension installed. You can see it by the icons appearing over here and also the menu option over here which is just parallel. First thing you want to do is go into Tools, Preferences and there's a new section here called Tomcat Preferences and you need to set those three entries over here to uh, match uh, with specific BAT files that start, stop and start in debug mode your Tomcat server. Once you did this, you can actually go into JDeveloper, for example, um, create an application server connection to Tomcat. It should be quite simple, just specify that it's a Tomcat server and the location of your web apps uh, directory. Go into JDeveloper and you can right click and say deploy web app to the server and it will just get a WAR file and copy it over. Next thing you can do from inside JDeveloper is start the Tomcat server. Once the server is up and running, you can go and check that your application actually works. So just give various values here, like that, and you can see that it works. Now let's do a debug session. So we want to stop the server. This is this button. It stops the Tomcat server. And then you can set a breakpoint somewhere, for example here, and start the server in debug mode. I'm using a port 4000 in my case. Then inside your project, go into the run debug profile, edit it, and check the remote debug and profiling option. Then go into your code and just start remote debugger. Specify the server and IP ad and the port number your debugger will connect to the remote server and now if you actually invoke the page again let's click refresh here you'll see the JDeveloper icon flashing it's because we hit this breakpoint over here you can look at variables, change their value like this and step over code and just do normal debugging if you click run you'll just get the new results that's basically it